Okay. So 37 years old now, you plan to retire at age 65. You want to have a monthly income of 3,200 from a fixed term annuity when you retire. Term of the annuity is 22 years. So you'll be retired for 22 years. Um, and the APR of 6.8% while you're working and while you're retired. So it's basically this retirement account, uh, kind of like a savings account, only it probably has a bunch of investment in, in the stock market and bonds and things. And how large will your nest egg have to be at retirement to guarantee the income described above? Um, so um, first of all, an annuity is just after your age 65, like age 66, 67, 68, you get $3,200 each month from this account until all the money's gone when you're age 87, okay? Um, so that's the theory of it. Um, now you might want a longer term or you might want to have a perpetuity where, where you just, you have, you take a smaller amount so that the, the fund never runs out basically. Um, but in any case, um, we've got to use our, we're looking for the nest egg, how large will the nest egg have to be? So we've got to choose the correct formula. So from your formula sheet, if you guys want to press pause and just check which formula you need. Okay, and I'll, I'll do it now. So if you look at your formula sheet, you might see this one here. It says nest egg needed. See that nest egg needed, right? Because with the nest egg needed formula, you can actually plug in the annuity yield goal, which is what you're given. So you're given the annuity yield goal of 3,200. So you can actually plug that in to this formula and it will give you the nest egg needed. So that's what we're looking for. So we need to figure out our R, uh, um, monthly interest rate, and our T, the number of uh, uh, payments or that we'll receive, right? That we're hoping to receive. Um, and we have our new to yield goal. It's, that's the 3,200, right? So I'm going to use a Desmos online calculator. So I just Google for Desmos and then I click scientific calculator. Um, and let's get cracking. So T, we'll start with that. 22 years times 12 months. So 264 of these annuity payments while you're retired, right? Um, interest rate 0 0.068, 0 0.068 over 12, that's the interest rate, right? And um, that's a, that's a um, realistic interest rate because that's been the average stock market return from you know 1872 all the way to 2017. So stock market goes up and down. If you have a retirement account, you probably have a bunch of stocks in there. Um, and so, you know, I'm just guessing that that's roughly what you might get. It, all re retirement accounts are, are different depending on much, what, what you have invested in, obviously. But in any case, um, that's our interest rate. So let's get cracking on this formula here. We have a new yield goal and then, which is 3,200. And then it's times one plus R to the power of T. So parenthesis. 1 plus R, which is our 0 0.068 over 12, close parenthesis, to the power of T. Now, I can use this little key here, A to the power of B, or I can use, if you look at the digit 6 on your keypad, it has a little hat symbol above it. So to the power of T, which is um, 264, right? 264. And then subtract one and then close parenthesis. So that's what we need on the top. And let's just compare that with the formula here and notice that there's two parentheses in the formula. See, it's monthly payment parenthesis and then parenthesis one plus R to the power of T, then subtract one and then another parenthesis. So we got to get that top exactly like what's in the formula, right? And so I'll just go ahead and, um, yeah, it, you know, just for fun, I'm just going to type this out. Like if you had a, a regular calculator, it would be just 3,200, parenthesis, parenthesis, 
uh, one plus 0 0.068 over 12. Sorry, let's make that bigger. Over 12, um, close parenthesis, and then to the power of 264, then subtract one and then parenthesis. So if you had a regular calculator, that's what it looks like. Um, so that's the top, right? Okay. So let's have a look at the bottom. So the bottom is R times one plus R to the power of T. So 0 0.068 over 12, that's R. Um, and I could put that in parentheses actually. And then times one plus R 0 0.068 over 12. And then to the power, little hat symbol of T, 264. So this is what we need on the bottom, 0 0.025188, right? Um, and so that's in the Desmos calculator. In a regular calculator, it would look like this. Um, R is, so parenthesis, 0 0.068 over 12 times 1 plus R, 0 0.068 over 12 to the power of 264, right? Now, so you might do that for the top, do this for the bottom, and then divide the two numbers in your regular calculator. If you want to do it all at once, that'd be kind of crazy, but you're welcome to try. It would look like this. You do all of that, and then you divide, but you need another parenthesis to encapsulate all of the bottom. So you're telling the calculator to calculate the top, you're telling the calculator to um, calculate the top and then um, calculate the bottom and then at the very end, um, divide by everything, all right? So that would be a one line entry, all right? Um, so that's a regular calculator, this is Desmos. Um, so I can take this number and I can just divide it by the bottom, this number. And so I'm getting about 437, about $438,000, right? And um, yep, so, so rounding to the nearest dollar, that would be 437.663. Uh, rounding to the nearest thousand dollars would be 438,000. So you need about $438,000 to give you that $3,200 a month while you're retired um, with that interest rate. But that interest rate is key because remember, the stock market goes all over the place. So it, it just kind of depends. Um, but over the long term, you're probably going to do well. You'll probably, you're probably not going to lose money, that's for sure. Um, but but the interest rates in retirement accounts are not guaranteed if 